Hello my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to another interesting news. The Guinness World Record on Tuesday announced Nigeria's Ilda Basi, the new record holder for the longest cooking by an individual. The Guinness World Record in a statement on its website said, Following a thorough review of all the evidence, Guinness World Records can now confirm that Ilda F. Young Basi, better known as Ilda Basi, has officially broken the record for the longest cooking marathon individual with a time of 93 hours 11 minutes. It was reported that Ilda Basi broke the record previously set by Indian chief Lata Tondon in 2019. It was reported in May that the Guinness World Record said its record team would review the evidence from the cooking marathon before it made the decision, the final decision. Our record team is looking forward to reviewing the evidence from Elder Bass's epic cooking marathon, Guinness has said on its Twitter page. The 26-year-old Nigerian chef began on Thursday 11th of May and continued cooking through to Monday 15th of May, cooking over 100 pots of food during a four-day kitchen stint. Ida Basi attempted to set a record of 100 hours, however, almost 7 hours were deducted from her final total because she mistakenly took extra minutes for one of her rest breaks early in the attempt. The Guinness World Records, known for its inception in 1955 until 1999 as the Guinness Book of Records and in previous United States edition, the Guinness Book of World Records, is a British reference book published annually listing world records both of human achievements and the extremes of natural world. The brainchild of Sad Sir Huge Beaver, the book was co-founded by two brother, by twin brothers, Norris and Rose Majwitha, in Fleet Street, London, in August 1955. On the 10th of November 1951, Sir Ujviva, then the managing director of the Guinness Bureau, went on a shooting party in the North Slope by the River Stanley of County Wexford, Ireland. After missing a shot at the Golden Plover, he became involved in an argument over which was the fastest game bred in Europe, the Golden Plover of the Red Grouse. That evening at Katsu Bridge House, he realized that it was impossible to confirm in reference book whether or not the Golden Plover was Europe's fastest game bird. Beaver knew that there must have been numerous other questions debated nightly among the public, but there was no book in the world, in the world with, with which to settle arguments ab- about records. He realized that he realized then that a book supplying the answers to sorts to sorts of questions might be might prove successful. Beaver's idea became reality when Guinness employee Christopher Katawi recommended university friends Norris and Ross Miroda, who had been running a fact-finding agency in London. The twin brothers were commissioned to compile what became the Guinness Book of Records in August 1954. A thousand copies were printed and given away. After the founding of the Guinness Book of Records, office at the top Ludgate House, 107 Fleet Street, London, the first 198-page edition was bound on 27 August 1955 and went to the top of the British bestseller list by Christmas. 
The following year, it was introduced into the United States by New York publisher David Bohem and sold 70,000 copies. Since then, Guinness World Records has sold more than 100 million copies in, the, in 100 countries and 37 languages. Because the book became a surprise hit, many further editions were printed, eventually settling into a pattern of revision a year published in September, October, in time for Christmas. The Mark Weathers continued to compile it for many years. Both brothers had an encyclopedia memory on the BBC television series Record Breakers. Based upon the book, they would take questions posed by children in the audience on various world records and were able to give the correct answers. Rose Marqueda was assassinated by two members of the Provisional Irish Republican Army in 1975 in response to offering a £50,000 reward for information that would lead to capture of members of the organization. Following Rose's assassination, the feature and the show where questions about records poses by children were answered was called Norris on the Spot. Norris carried on as a book sole editor. Guinness Superlative, later Guinness World Records Limited, was formed in 1954 to publish the first book. Sterling Publish owned the rights to the Guinness Book in the United States for decades until it was purchased by Guinness in 1989 after an 18-month long lawsuit. The group was owned by Guinness PLC and subsequently Diageo until 2001 when it was purchased by Juleni Entertainment for $65 million. Julani was itself purchased by It Entertainment in 2002. In 2006, Apple's partners purchased It and subsequently sold Guinness World Records in early 2008 to the Jim Patson Group, the parent company of the Real Flea Entertainment, which is licensed to operate Guinness World Records attractions. With office in the New York and Tokyo, Guinness World Records Global Headquarters remained in London, specifically South Quay Plaza, Canary Wharf. While its museum attractions are based at Rifle headquarters in Orlando, Florida, United States. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.